This lesson looks at using super equations uh, also with vectors. Uh, you need to know the five constant acceleration equations and we're going to use those to help solve problems including constant acceleration and vectors. Uh, before this lesson you should have some knowledge about uh, using the five constant acceleration equations. Uh, also you should be familiar with unit vector notation which is I's and J's. Uh, you need to understand the term position vector and also you need to be able to find the magnitude of a vector. So first example, we've got a particle moving from point A which has a position vector 3i plus 5j meters to point B which has a position vector of 7i plus 3j meters. Uh, when the object is at A, it's moving the velocity of minus i plus 2j meters per second. And the journey from A to B takes it 4 seconds. And we've been asked to find the acceleration of the particle. So we already know we need to consider our super equation, so let's consider what we know. So we've been given these two position vectors, uh, so they don't actually tell us any of the five things from the super equations, uh, but they do help us work one of them out. So if we consider drawing our grid, we've been given point A has a position vector 3i, plus 5j here we've got point A point B has position vector 7i minus 3j we've got point B down here so we're travelling from A to B So uh, the orange line drawn there, which is the vector from A to B, will give us our displacement. So horizontally we travel from 3 to 7, so this must have been 4i. And vertically we've gone from 5 down to minus 3, which would be minus 8j. So we need to do a calculate s first. Now we have been given uh, A, it's moving at minus i plus 2j. So that is our initial velocity. And we've been told that the journey takes 4 seconds. And we're going to have to work out the acceleration. So we don't know the final velocity and we've not been asked to calculate it. So we're looking for an equation with S, U, A and T. So without V in the equation. So we're going to have to use the S equals ut is a half squared. So now we can substitute our values in. So we've got 4i minus 8j equals u, which is minus i plus 2j times by t. It's a good idea to write this as a bracket. It's half a is that we're trying to calculate t squared and four squared. Try to simplify this. We can consider expanding the brackets here, which gives minus 4i plus 8j. And 4 squared would be 16, 1 half of 16 would be 8, so we've got 8 and 8. So if we rearrange, 4i plus 4i would make 8i minus 8j minus 8j would be minus 16j or equals 8a so to calculate a we need to divide through by 8 which would give us i minus 2j so our acceleration would be i minus 2j meters per second squared Okay, second problem. So this time we've been given an um, initial velocity of minus 2i plus 3j meters per second and the acceleration of minus i minus j meters per second squared. And we've been asked to calculate the velocity initially of the particle after 5 seconds. So if we list again what we know, we've been given initial velocity as 2i 
minus 3j we have been given acceleration of minus i minus j we have been given the time of 5 seconds and we have been asked to calculate the velocity so we need an equation with vu nt so we can choose that v equals u plus nt so if we substitute things in v is what we want to calculate u is 2i minus 3j a we're going to have to deal with as a bracket here so minus i minus j multiplied by 5 We consider expanding this out. It's going to be minus 5i minus 5j. So to simplify, 2i minus 5i would be minus 3i minus 3j minus 5j would be minus 8j. So that will be our velocity after the 5 seconds minus 3i minus 8j meters per second so that's part 1 calculated part 2 we've been asked to calculate not the velocity but the speed uh, the speed is going to be the magnitude of our velocity uh, because we don't mind about what direction it's in we just want to know how fast it's actually travelling so the vector we've worked out was minus 3i minus 8j so if we turn that into a vector triangle 3 going that way, 8 going that way and this diagonal line here we can consider as being our speed so to calculate the speed we need to use Pythagoras and we're going to do the square root of 3 squared plus x squared. I'll simply use a calculator to come up with a value for that. So we should end up with the square root of 73 which is 8.54 meters per second. Okay, finally to finish us off and we've got particle accelerating at a constant rate from an initial velocity of minus 3i plus j meters per second to a final velocity of 5i plus 3j meters per second in a time of 2 seconds. Uh, this time we've asked to calculate the distance travelled. So if we consider this problem carefully, distance isn't actually one of the five things we've got. Displacement is, but distance isn't. So we can use our SUVA equation to calculate displacement so we're going to finish off the problem we have had to convert into a distance at the end. So our initial velocity i was minus 3i plus j. Our final velocity v was 5i plus 3j. Now we don't know the acceleration and the time is 2. And to start us off with we need to calculate the displacement. So we can choose an equation and we can choose that s equals one half of u plus v t. So again, substitute the values so minus the i plus j v is plus five i plus three j multiplied by t which is 2. So we need to try and simplify the problem. Uh, you may spot uh, we've got times by half and times by 2, so we could consider they just cancel out. And minus 3i plus 5j would be plus 2i, and j plus 3j would be plus 4j. So that's us for our displacement. So to consider distance we need to draw our vector triangle which is 2i, so 2 to the right, 4j, 
So if I upwards, say the distance will actually be this diagonal length traveling that way. Let's calculate our distance. We should know that again that we're going to use Pythagoras. So we're going to do the square root of 2 squared plus 4 squared. We use a calculator to help us with that. We should come out with a, a value of 4.47 meters. Okay, thank you for listening.